Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here is Abdul and today we have a video about uh, a very special watch that I just got back from service and it got me wondering uh, about the topic and it's heirloom watches. So this is a watch from my late grandfather uh, who I dearly uh, loved and um, he was the one who actually got me into watch collection and watch collecting and appreciating watches and this was one of his watches and uh, as you can see it's a small watch so it's a 30 31 maybe if i'm not mistaken 32 millimeters lug to lug is 36 thickness seven millimeters you have a two-tone style black and gold um, black cabochon on the crown you have a quartz swiss quartz movement date and six position um 12 o'clock position we have the uh, moon face and you have a small trying to get it to focus small counter uh, uh, counter here above the moon and you have a textured dial as you can see so this watch is special to me not because the price of it um, so you can search online you can get similar uh, function watch from Fortis for around 30 50 euros something like that and I paid 8 euros just to get back to function and get a new movement and everything um, my watchmaker just finished it it's been a, maybe a year or more and it got me wondering why do we sometimes go above and beyond for watches like this that has some kind of emotional value more of an emotional attachment uh, than any other watch like i have this fortis and it has a mechanical movement so if it um like uh, if i paid 100 or 200 euros to repair it i understand the the logic behind it it's now a 2000 euro watch if you pay 200 euros that's 10 percent that's reasonable mm -hmm. but if you pay more than the price of the watch just to repair the watch then it becomes unreasonable but then you go into this heirloom this emotion that this that this watch evokes and it goes above the monetary value that you put for the watch and uh, i talked about this with my watchmaker yan hi yan if you're watching this video and he was telling me he got he gets a lot of customers that uh, give him like cuckoo clocks wall clocks uh, old watches like this one and they're like fix it no uh don't look at costs fix it whatever it takes because they have an emotional connection to this watch or to this clock they used to have this cuckoo clock when they were kids uh, going uh, to have uh, breakfast every day at home and then they got it after their parents died and now they are at the 60s 50s 70s whatever and they are um, nostalgic about this clock so they want to repair it and they want to hear the same uh, tone that this clock made or the same tick that this uh, clock did um, that this is for them worth whatever price it takes and i totally understand this and this is uh, for me one of these watches that has the same thing as you can see da vinci in the back 30 meters reference number 4791629 stainless steel back quartz swiss and it's an excellent watch and i know i'm i'm not gonna wear it but for that matter i gave it to my wife so i think my wife will enjoy it much much more due to the size as you can see on my wrist it doesn't look any more uh, like plausible i used to wear it when i was young i remember i was maybe 12 13 years old and i used to take this watch and wear it when uh, we had some kind of event and i have to wear a, a suit and uh, i really liked it because it's it's uh, this combination of gold and black i didn't see it back then uh, that much um, but yeah so tell me in the comment section if you have a watch like this or any other watch that is nostalgic and has a some kind of emotional value to you that's higher than the financial value and that you would pay any kind of money of course within reason uh to repair the watch and have it running again so let me know in the comment section if you have any question about this watch or any other watch 
also leave in the comment section and this is an invitation to subscribe you find the subscribing button in the middle and even two videos that you might enjoy and hopefully see you in the next one bye bye everybody